Hey guys, are you here? And today, I have an exciting announcement. I know everybody has been waiting so long for me to tell this. I said on Saturday, I thought it was Sunday, so I was like, oh yeah, it'll be tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I was like, wait, I'm not supposed to say until Monday, sorry, it'll be tomorrow. And then on Monday, I found out <laughs> that I actually couldn't t say until today, so I'm like, it's gonna be tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I can finally tell you guys, um, well, technically I'm not allowed to say for a few hours, but by the time this video is up, I can tell you guys, um, it's not anything crazy. It's not like I'm engaged or married or something like that. Nothing like crazy, like life shattering has happened, but I did want to make a little announcement. Here it is. This is the first time I'm saying it out loud. Um, so about a few weeks ago, uh, I was contacted by Blizzard actually to go out, um, fly out there, kind of stay in a hotel for a couple days with a couple other PVP content creators. I, I don't want to say any names. They can announce it when they want to announce it. Um, but basically, just go out there talk about the game talk about us as content creators and what they can do to help you know why you know what what can they do from there and help us as content creators so it's less of like it, it it's kind of a pvp summit but it's less of like us um just saying you know what's wrong with the game what needs to be fixed i mean more of you know what what can they do to help us as pvp content creators um so what that means is you know what I, I kind of want to see if we can maybe put together more community tournaments or, you know, different types of PvP modes, um, something like that. There's a bunch of different things on the table. Maybe I could even talk about, I know I have been very passionate in the past about 6v6, uh, 6v6 tournaments or 6v6 different play modes with 6v6 Wars on Gulch or Twin Peaks, something like that. Um, so there's definitely um, a lot of very cool options with this. Um, but it's, it's just, uh, you know, I'm pretty excited because one, they asked me to go. I know a lot of you guys, are, you're like, stop saying OP stuff because Blizzard watches your videos. And I'm like, guys, trust me, Blizzard doesn't watch my videos. And then like, <laughs> right after I made that video, they're like, hey, by the way, we watch your videos. We want you to come out. I'm just like, oh crap. Um, but, uh, pretty exciting news, guys. So I'm going to be gone for the next couple of days. Uh, so no uploads. I'm, I'm actually going tomorrow. I'm going Wednesday. Uh, I'm gonna stay there Thursday and then I'll be home on Friday. So just a short little trip and we're just gonna be, you know, talking about the game, talking about us as content creators, uh, what Blizzard can do to kind of, you know, make that better, easier, or whatever along the lines for us. And I think we get to tour the Blizzard headquarters and stuff like that as well. So very excited. There's a couple of other people going that I know as well. But I don't want to say anything because, you know, you can ask your favorite streamer, YouTuber, if they're going. I don't want to, if they had a special way to announce it, I don't want to ruin it for them. But yeah, what I want you guys to do now that you're here is to comment down below. What do you guys want me to talk about? Uh, um, I really want to get your guys' input on this. Uh, I think we're going to several meetings um, with Blizzard. So I just, I want you guys, to, like, what should I talk about? What should I push? What should I bring to the table here? Um, do you guys, you know, I definitely, for me, I think what spices it up is um, more tournaments and more objective-based gameplay. And for me, that's what's very exciting. But maybe you guys have something down in the comments that, you know, maybe I'll find interesting myself and I'll actually bring up to Blizzard. So here's your chance. If you have any crazy cool ideas, let me know down below. And uh, yeah, can maybe give your idea a shot. But anyways, guys, this is a game of uh, Demo MLS here. Still going on this first game. Uh, Maldiva and I decided to give this comp a go last night. We actually ran with a Mistweaver before running with Kolo, the Resto Shaman. And we did okay with the Mistweaver. We actually didn't lose a single game, but our MMR was pretty low. But then we switched to a Shaman. And it was actually a little bit worse with the Shaman, I would say. So the reason the Mistweaver is good is because you have three targets that are very difficult to kill. Mistweaver ports around, Mage blinks around, and Demo locks a freaking tank and a half. So, yeah. Uh, this comp isn't bad with Demo. The Demo kind of rots everything. I'm, I'm kind of playing strategy where I just Blizzard and Orb as much as possible. Not really going for Sheeps, trying to oom the Priest. Once the Priest is oomed, just get a kill. Um, so not super, like, intensely skill play, but it's more just about living and surviving. So I Temp Shield, Gate here. Um, don't have a Hellstone available. Trying to get into the Earthen Shield, get into the Earthen Shield, and uh, hopefully I'll be okay. If not, I have another Ice Block here, and after my Frost Lockout ends, it actually looks like I'm going to have to Ice Block, because my uh, partners are both in CC. 
but yeah uh hop into the ice block here um coming out of the block and the priest is only at you know below 20 percent mana so definitely very uh you know we're definitely able to get a kill here i actually fail my ring here on the pillar i was trying to ring the the priest off of the stun but yeah we have axe toss stun from the from the demo lock we have um cap stun from the shaman and we also have infernal stun on in a minute and a half cooldown so we don't really have like a ton of stun so we have a bunch of like longer cooldown stuns that we can rotate through for my orb or you know just for cleave pressure with blizzard or whatever but these guys are all getting pretty low here and dampening and we're doing totally fine in mana we're not being rotted at all oh by the way guys this is the final day before fire assass gets nerfed fire assass gets, gets nerfed today right i haven't been on yet but i'm pretty sure it gets nerfed today so yeah very excited to try out the new patch uh, frost mages weren't changed but since a lot of things were nerfed and buffed and whatever the viability of frost mage is going to change so that's um that's very exciting i uh, can't wait for that um yeah and just go ahead and just get a nice burst kill there onto the mage we yeah, are very excited about this announcement, guys. I've, I, I've, I was told I couldn't say anything or couldn't tell you guys, and I'm like, oh, it's killing me. You know, I just want to say something, um, but I couldn't for so long. Definitely feels good to have it out there on the table. I know everyone when they're like, oh, you have an announcement, dude. What is Julia pregnant? Or you know, do you have a new sponsor? Or like, you know, what's going on here? But yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I don't think any single person, all the thousands of people that were guessing on what this was, I don't think anyone guessed correctly but i don't know why they would because that would be one random guess i, I say this up on my shaman here tried to eat the trap didn't work out um if you guys didn't notice e either in the last game my warlock is playing a fell lord which kind of swings an axe around in this little circle this dotted circle that you see on the on the ground and it stuns everyone in it so if they run into the circle for too long they're going to get stunned and it does a good amount of damage so i just stay in the circle against something like you know, rogue hunter that wants to kill me, they stay in the circle. So they, if they stay in the circle, they're going to get constantly stunned and killed. So they're not really going to, you know, going to be able to kill me if I stay in the circle. It only lasts 30 seconds. It has a minute and a half cooldown. So, you know, one third up time. Take a gate here once that fades. And our strategy is kind of, you know, rotate that with earthen shield, with temp shield, with ice block, with spirit link, with another fell lord, with another earthen, with another temp shield, with another ice block, with another spirit, you know, just constantly kind of rotate through cooldowns and live, and that's kind of the strategy here. Here's my temp shield. I cancel my temp shield. Get in pretty low here. Um, catch a huge shield from my shaman, though, so that's pretty cool. The priest is taking a ton of damage. I'm surprised he doesn't just go down. Cast a blizzard actually on all three. Have my Evan Bolt off cooldown now. Trying to get that Evan Bolt onto him. Do get silenced up by the hunter. Still trying to get that Evan Bolt on him. Get kicked. I am playing Burning Termination though. So if I get kicked again, my the kick is going to be much shorter. Uh, I am forced into an, uh, an ice block here where my shaman goes into that full trap. Uh, Rogue pops cloak. Uh, great fears here by Maldiva to peel for me when I need it. Casting Blizzard to try to get an orb back. As you guys can see, I'm just sitting in Earthen, casting Blizzard, casting orb on its up, bursting with Comet Storm Ice Lance, uh, or Comet Storm Ice Nova Ice Lances, and um, yeah, bursting with more Evan Bolts when available. So this is kind of the comp. Like I said, not super skill play or anything. We're not doing crazy setups, but you know, in its own way, it's, you know, you have to survive, um, if you live, you kind of win, because the other team will go oom um eventually. There goes the rogue. Get him down. But anyways, guys, I hope you're excited about this announcement. I am so excited. It should be a ton of fun. Make sure to comment down below what you guys want for me to talk about. Tweet at me um, if you guys think of something the next day or so when I'm already there. Tweet at me. I'll be having my Twitter open um, a lot, probably. And yeah, I'm really excited for what you guys have to say about this. Uh, feels great to actually tell you guys. But anyways, guys, thumbs the video up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. Really comment down below today. I'm definitely going to be reading all the comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!